When you install Divi for the first time and you try to search something on your website, you're going to get the search results page that looks something like this. And I'm sure you can agree with me that this doesn't look very exciting. So in this video, I wanna show you how to create a search results page that looks something like this. And now we have a bit of a design. Over here, it tells you these are the search results for the word text. And it also has a better way of displaying it. And also you can add an image that you'd like here in the background. And by the way, if you purchase TV using my affiliate link, I also have some bonuses. So again, the link to that is in the video description below. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to head over here to our admin dashboard and come all the way down here to the theme builder. So you need to hover over here where it says TV and then click on theme builder. The next thing you need to do is to add your template. So I'm gonna click on this plus button and then click on build new template. So here you're going to see we have several templates that we can build, but the one that we're looking for is the search results. So I'm gonna click that and click on create template. Okay, great. So now we need to go in and build our template. So I'm gonna click here on add custom body, build custom body. So I'm gonna click on this gear icon, go to the background, and we're going to add some sort of a design to this. So let me start off by adding a color here. So I'm gonna go with uh, black, so I'm gonna select it. And then over here, I'm gonna add a background image by clicking on this plus button. So the image I'm gonna go with is this one right here, click upload image. By the way, you can use any image that you want. And then I'm gonna come all the way down here to my image blend, and change this from normal to multiply. And then the final stage is to come over here to my color and introduce some uh, transparency. So I'm gonna drag this down just a little bit until we can start to see the image in the background. All right, pretty much that's all I need to do. In fact, we may need to add just a little bit more. Okay, so that's looking great. The next step now is to add my line height. So I'm gonna come over here to my sizing. So I want this to be maybe a minimum height of about say 40 VH. And finally, whatever element I place in here needs to be centered. So I'm gonna come over here to advanced, click on custom CSS, and then I'm gonna type here display flex. I'm gonna add a colon and then just type in flex. And now you can see that everything is going to be centered. And then finally, I just need to add a colon and pretty much that's it. Now let's add some text in here. So I'm gonna add my first single column and I'm gonna add my text module like that. Now this has to be dynamic, so I'm gonna click here on this little gear icon and add post archive title. The next step now is to uh, make this into a heading, so I'm gonna click on this gear icon and add my HTML tag. So I'm gonna set this as H2, and I also need to close the tag, forward slash H2. All right, so now that I have that, the next step now is to change my color. So I'm gonna hover over here and click here on this icon, and this now has taken me to my heading color. So for this, I'm gonna use AB white so that it's easier to read. And I may also increase the size here. So I'm gonna set this to about 44 and then save. Okay, so the next step now is to show the area that all our results are going to be. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button to add a new section, click on regular, and then I'm gonna click on single column. So here, what I'm gonna do is I am going to search for the blog and here it is, I'm gonna select that. What is important here is to uh, make sure that this is activated. So posts for current page needs to be activated. And then here you can decide how many uh, posts you want to show. So let's just go for 12 and I'm gonna leave the date as it is. But what I really want to change here is to come over here to design layout. Now I prefer to show my content as a grid. So I'm gonna select grid. And now I can stylize this and make this look however I want. So now I am going to um, click here on my heading so I can increase the size here if I want. I can also play around with the, um, with the size and so on. But I'm not gonna go too, too much into detail and customize this. So the next step now is just to uh, come over here to the background and just add a very slight background color. So I'm gonna go to my global here and then choose my color and save. So what we're gonna do next is to close out of here, save changes, and now we're going to test and see if this is going to work. So I'm gonna come over here on my page. This is my search page. So I know I have quite a few things in here. So let's just try uh, something random. So I'm gonna search for text. 
hit enter. And now you can see that we have a search results for text and then it shows over here. So what this is doing is anything that has text in it is going to show here on the bottom. And now you can see that this is a much better design as compared to your default, which is not so nice. If you like this tutorial, please leave me a thumbs up and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button. By doing so, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.